All right, so how to set up a trailing stop loss in the trade window in Sierra chart using the OCO. So I'm answering this question again from Graham. And all right, so what threw me for a loop here first was your issue that you was running into. Was it right in there? But I think I figured out, you know, what I think I was able to recreate the issue. So let me go ahead and get into this. And I'm just going to show you how, well, the, the way that I would set this up. All right, so the set of this trail and stop loss with these OCOs and for it to work correctly, um, what I would do, first we're gonna go to target, of course, right? And then I'm just gonna add in, there we go. All right, so I'm just adding everything in at once. This, you know, because it's a simple setup. This is a simple setup, so I just put everything in there, right? So you have target one, target two, and then your stop loss. So the way you had this set up, we're gonna go with target one, 12 and then target to 28 right I covered all that in the other video right and then this offset I'm just gonna set it to 60 so we have enough time to see everything right so the, the other thing to notice with this is these OCO groups so I think this is where because it, it threw me off how you explained that it, you when it hit your stop loss it just kept going but I think what happened is you had your stop loss, your stop loss order in a different OCO group. All right, one more thing I, I need to pick in this type, since we're using a trailing, I'm gonna use a trailing stop. Okay, so all that's set up up there. So for this, we got target one, it's an OCO group one. So this target two is definitely, is of course, it's gonna be in a different OCO. So this is an OCO group two. And then for the stop loss, you see how by default, it said put it in OCO group one. But what I want to do is put it in all OCO groups so that it sets a stop loss or it attaches a stop loss for each of these targets. And that's all I really need to set up there. Now I go back to main. Now here's another thing you got to recognize or pay attention to is this quantity. You see this quantity is in, is in red right now. It's because I have in the trade window, I have the quantity set to one. But of course for this, I'm going to need at least two, right? So if I wanted to have a minimum order size of more than that let's say target one i want to take let's say the full position size is four contracts and i want to take two off at target one and then two off at target two well i have to set that here in the target setting change the quantity right there to two and then change the quantity to two all right so that's how i would do that but i'm gonna keep everything at one and one so that means the full position size is going to be two contracts so I got to at least be two contracts or more. And for this example, well, let's go at two. Let's just start it off with two, right? So it'll work with two. So you know everything is set up to use your attached order when this appears green. And then of course, we want to make sure use attached orders is, is checked off. Also, I'm just going to come in here in the menus and, and I'm going to show you my settings that I have this, you know, just, just so you can use it as a reference. There's confirmations. There's orders. You don't really need scale in, scale out just for a simple trailing, but that's how I, I always have that set. And then there's the settings. All right. So you got that for your reference. And so let's watch this. Let me hit play on this. This is in replay mode. I'm going to hit play on this and see what happens. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just enter into this right here. Make sure you use attached orders to select it. We're going to buy market. So you see it, it put me in long. I got to. There we go. All right. So it put me in two contracts. You got one for profit and for target one and one for target two. And you can kind of see as price goes higher, this is trailing. The stop loss is trailing. There you go. So it took one off. Now you got a remainder contract of one. You can see the stop loss is the one. And then there we go. We hit both targets. And so just for an, an, a, a comparison, let's say I wanted to do this with nine, just to, to show you what it would do. I'm gonna buy again at market and pause it. So you see, it just splits it up, right? And I don't know what kind of calculation it uses, but sometimes sort of when I was testing this out the first time it put five in target one and four in target two, but now it's, it did it four in target one and five in target two. And you can adjust this if you want to, right? Of course, you just click on the number and then adjust. 
Also, if you go down here and you click on this number, it'll show you the attached stop loss orders to these target orders, right? All right, so now let me go ahead and let that play again. All right, that's target one. Now you can see it's holding on to a remainder of five. I can adjust that if I want to. And it's still trailing by 60 points, or by 60 ticks. All right, there we go. All right, so now I'm gonna fish for another one using, actually this time I'll go back and let me change this to six. So I'm gonna try to get stopped out. What I'm trying to do is get stopped out here. And I think this is some momentum that we came. So I'm gonna keep searching for one until I find one that stops me out. All right, so that was a stop loss. And you see when it hit that stop, it was completely, it completely took me out. Now, if I wanted to do this differently and I didn't want to just completely uh, close the trade um, once the stop loss is hit. All right. So let's say I wanted to have two stop losses in this sense, uh, two separate stop losses attached to my targets. What I would do, so let's say I got target one and I want that a, a trailing stop loss at six and target two, Let's say I don't want that trailing. I want to keep that a hard stop loss, a fixed stop loss at six targets or at six ticks as well. So the way I would do that is I would come in, I would add another stop, change this one. So I just added one. I'm going to change it to stop, 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 right? So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this one a hard stop loss attached to target one. So let me go there and then this other stop i'm gonna put this one with target two and oco group two right but i'm gonna make this one the trailing stop loss a trailing stop right there also for six points or six ticks okay so now i got that set up and this time let me just go with three just for another example let me go ahead and hit play and I'm gonna go in at market. Hope this doesn't stop me off too quick. And you can see you got one trailing and the other one that's fixed. And there you go. So now it took that one off and it kept target. It looks like it kept target one. And there we go. I don't know which, I think it hit the target. It happened so quickly and that was so small, but there you go. So that's just a couple examples of how you can set that up, how to set the trailing stop loss up and I gave you a little extra on top of that. All right, so appreciate the comment or the, the question, Graham. Hope that helped. Trade it easy.